my first ever rise of kingdoms video on this channel was posted january 2nd 2020 and i've been posting rise of kingdoms content multiple times every single week since then and i have said repeatedly that i am actually not sponsored by rise of kingdoms or lilith but a few weeks ago during the five year anniversary live stream a goose actually exposed me by saying this i actually saw omniarch in the chat i think oh yes. yes. hi see? omniarch yeah. <laughs> hi omniarch and omniarch of course recently just joined our content creator program so today i figured we would do something a little bit different i'm gonna tell you guys my entire journey as a content creator for rise of kingdoms why i started posting content about rise of kingdoms why i thought i would never be sponsored and then finally how i actually did become an associate creator for rise of kingdoms maybe one day i'll be partnered like chiskel or like shinshi we're not quite there yet but later in the video i'm gonna share with you guys how you can get started being a content creator for rise of kingdoms or for call of dragons or any other lilith or farlight games title through their official content creator program but first what's going on guys cheers now before we get into all the details here i know that this is a little bit of a different type of video i'm going to be kind of just rambling about my own rise of kingdoms content creator journey it's not really the type of thing that i typically post on this channel so if you're not interested in that there's going to be some golden kingdom gameplay here and if you guys need some tips or advice on golden kingdom maybe you can watch the gameplay back and see what I do I was able to beat the entire Golden Kingdom in one run this time so you can take a look at what commanders that I'm using and which blessings that I'm picking and the strategy I use to go around the map so if you're only here for guide content just maybe stick around and and watch that if you're having trouble with Golden Kingdom but first let's start off with the obvious why didn't I make a video sooner saying that I was actually a sponsored associate creator for Rise of Kingdoms truthfully during the five-year anniversary live stream on the official Rise of Kingdoms channel when a goose mentioned me during that stream I actually had sent them my signed contract but I hadn't gotten their signature and sent it back to me and that was partially my fault okay because I requested a, a little addition to the contract and had I not done that I would have been inducted as a associate creator at the same time as 12 inch and gains gaming but because I'm complicated and difficult it took an extra couple of weeks so technically at the exact moment of that live stream the contract had not been signed by both parties so I just was kind of waiting like in limbo and I mean I knew I was going to be a part of it they knew that I was going to be a part of it everyone knew it was just like you know putting the final stamp on the paper basically so that's why it was kind of leaked first by a goose I guess technically but the part that might be most confusing to some of you is that a lot of people just assumed that I was sponsored the whole time or at least for the past like year or two like a lot of people just assumed based on the size of my channel or how many views that it gets or the subscribers or whatever that I'm just a sponsored creator like why wouldn't I be right and that's what that's what I thought like a like a long time ago but we're gonna get into into all that okay there's good reasons why I wasn't sponsored before this but yes technically I literally just got sponsored by rise of kingdoms but if I wasn't sponsored until now why was I making videos every single week about rise of kingdoms for like over three years or coming up to four years now which is actually crazy and to understand that we have to go back to the beginning of the Omniarch YouTube channel okay this YouTube channel had its first video go live on November 11th 2014 that's right we're coming up we're like maybe three weeks away at the time of recording this from my nine year anniversary on this channel the same channel for nine years that is actually crazy and what that means is I had been posting Call of Duty content longer than I have been posting rise of kingdoms content on this channel which is mind-blowing because at this point literally 99.9 percent .9 of you guys watching know me as a rise of kingdoms guy i'm like the rise of kingdoms guy like basically nobody associates me with call of duty even though i had posted call of duty for like five maybe even six years before i posted rise of kingdoms content which is mind-blowing but here's the thing okay call of duty back in 2020 okay modern warfare 2019 a lot of you guys will remember that game because it was hot trash it was utter garbage unplayable in my opinion super bad the new engine was trash warzone was okay and looking back that's the only good thing that has come from modern warfare 2019 but the game was so bad that for the first time in like i don't know 13 years i was ready to quit call of duty 
I was like, this is, we, we are, we are going down a path of no return. I was right. By the way, we haven't had a good call of duty since black ops two. You can fight me in the comment section below, but you know it deep down. It's true. Black ops four didn't even exist in my mind and everything after black ops three, not even call of duty. Okay. It's not, it's not call of duty. Anyway, that brings us to January 2nd, 2020. And even though I didn't like call of duty at the time, I still liked making YouTube videos. So I thought, okay, well, I've been playing this rise of kingdoms game for, you know, a little over a year at that point. And I feel like I knew a lot about the game, even though I wasn't that powerful. And I was actually mostly free to play at that time. I had spent like a little bit of money. It wasn't anything crazy. And I was like, okay, well, I've, I've been playing this game for a year. I really enjoy rise of kingdoms. Let me just post a beginner's guide. Why not? I'll just post a beginner's guide. I mean, it, I mean, no one's watching my channel anyway. So it's not like I could hurt my channel at that point. Like I could just post whatever I want and it, it is what it is. And that beginner's guide from January 2nd of 2020 has over a hundred thousand views at this point. It's still one of my bigger videos on this channel. And even like right away, it got a few thousand views. And I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. Because at that point, my call of duty content was averaging like between 150 and 250 views, something like that. Basically nobody. Okay. It was, it was, it was not nobody, but it wasn't very much. Okay. So the fact that my first rise of Kings video got a few thousand views, I was like, hold up hold up wait a minute hold up i might be i might be onto something here okay which was which was uh which was interesting so then i posted another rise of kings video i think i posted a video about solomar getting zeroed which had already kind of been old news at that point but i just figured i would throw it up on the channel and that video did okay it wasn't anything crazy and then i posted a best commanders in rise of kings video and that video to this day is sitting at like eighty-eight thousand views and back then when I first posted it my third rise of kingdoms video ever they were doing numbers and I was like okay well I mean I don't like call of duty anymore and I really like rise of kingdoms and I also still really like making content for YouTube so I'm just gonna stick with it I'm just gonna keep posting when I get a chance I'll just post a new video I'll post a Minamoto guide I'll post a whatever I'll post whatever I want if it was rise of kingdoms related I was posting it and I did that for a little bit okay I made I think I made it maybe one or two more call of duty videos I talked about why I was quitting modern warfare things like that and honestly at that time I was sort of confused as to why my rise of kingdoms content was even getting views because I thought that okay well this game's already a year old we already had Chiskel he was already making videos Shinshi was making videos we had Gecko Gaming eventually we had Legend Roni who was sponsored and then not sponsored but still making videos for a long time and then we had Dragothian and I was like okay well there's already so many like bigger is bigger sized content creators for this game there's really no reason for me to make content about it right so I was confused as to why my videos were getting views anyway. Like if I made a Minamoto guide, there was already Minamoto guides on the internet, but for some reason my videos were getting views. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep going with it. So the rise of kingdoms content started January 2nd, 2020. And you guys remember what happened in 2020, right? Like, I mean, really it happened at the end of 2019, you know, that, that 19 number. So around March, uh, the, the world shuts down okay and uh i was working at the time i guess i can say this now um i was working at apple and i was a i was an in-person technician and at that time the companies were scrambling to figure out what do we do right and god bless apple because they didn't from my at least where i worked nobody got fired during that time which was shocking and basically they were just scrambling to figure out okay well, we're going to keep these people on payroll and what are they going to do? Like, they're just going to be stuck at home. Obviously, you know, my job involved dealing with people face to face, so I couldn't do that job. And also my apartment was so absolutely tiny back then. And you can go back and watch my early rise kings videos. That was the first time, uh, that I had this, the, the Omni arc sign. It's actually still in my new place. It's actually right up there. You can't see it because it's not lit up. But anyway, that bedroom was so tiny that I couldn't even opt in to like work from home because I could didn't have one of their corporate machines in my in my room like there just literally was not space there so I was stuck inside for like three months and we were doing you know sort of like zoom calls and making PowerPoint presentations and taking different classes on like learning about 
Apple products. And I had already been working there for like three years at that point, two and a half years. So I knew all about the products already. I was already trained. And so those trainings, um, were basically just busy work. It wasn't like, it wasn't really anything super serious. And so I would get that out of the way, super easy, super early. And then I would just spend the rest of my days filming rise of kingdoms videos and posting them online. I had no rhyme or reason. I was just trying to think of as many videos as I could, uh, because I thought, okay, this is a crazy opportunity that I have where people are actually watching my content. And I also like am stuck inside anyway, and I don't have anything to do. So I thought this is my shot. Like this is my chance to actually try to be a YouTuber that I have been trying to be for years at that point. Remember my first video was 2014. At that point, it was over five years that I had been posting content for basically nobody. Like I just loved making videos. So I thought I'm never going to have an opportunity like this again. I don't know how long this, this, you know, stuck inside thing is going to happen. How long it's going to be. Is it going to be two weeks? Is it going to be two months? I have no idea. So I spent every single day filming as much content as I could in between doing my trainings. At that point, somebody on the official rise of kingdoms discord actually noticed my channel and they said, Hey, do you want to, you know, be a part of the creator chats on the discord? And I was like, Oh, I'm in boys. I'm in. This means that I might have a shot at becoming a sponsored creator. This is crazy, right? So they let me into the, the creator chat, the media chat and all that sort of stuff. And I was like, you know, so like, how do I get sponsored? And they're like, oh, you know, like, we'll let you know if that's ever an opportunity. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, at least I'm getting my foot in the door. Right. And basically at that time, um, getting access to like the creator side of the official discord really just meant that you could share your video in the media chat and you know hopefully people from the official discord would see your videos that that's pretty much all that you could do you may have been able to reach out to some people slightly easier but i didn't really notice any benefit so a couple of months go by and i was like okay well my my subs are up my views are up i'm gonna reach out again and i reached out to i don't remember who it was it might have been cheesecake i don't know and i reached out and i was like hey like you know i just hit i think i had just hit like maybe 10,000 subscribers or something. And I was like, Hey, you know, I'm interested in being a, in a, a partner creator. Um, what are the steps that I need to take? So that way I'm on the right track. And I didn't, I didn't get left on red. Uh, I got left on delivered. I got left on. Yeah. Your message got through, but nobody's reading it. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. 10,000 subs. And like, I don't even know, like, I can't even reach anybody. I don't even know. Like, what am I, how am I supposed to get sponsored? Right? So I was like, okay, well, um, sponsorships not on the table, I guess. Uh, so I'm just going to keep making content. Right. Uh, and at that point, um, I think I was using a, an affiliate link for rise of kingdoms through a, basically an emulator for your PC. Okay. So this was back before rise of kingdoms had a PC version, an official PC version, which is infinitely better than any emulator, by the way. Okay. I'm not just saying that because I'm an associate creator now, like it's actually optimized for desktop. There's no emulation. Like it's, it's actually insanely good. And the hotkeys are amazing. It's infinitely better. But back then we didn't have a PC version. So I was using an affiliate link in the description of my videos to encourage people to download the game with that affiliate link. And I was making a few hundred dollars a month from that like maybe one to three hundred dollars a month from just that affiliate link alone and i was i don't even think i was like really promoting it that much but it was always in the description and whenever anyone would ask how are you playing on pc that's what i would tell them and so between the bump in ad revenue and between the affiliate link revenue i was like okay well i can make income from this without being sponsored. So I'm just going to keep making rise of kingdoms videos. So I continued to pump out content for rise of kingdoms for a little over a year, right? So from the beginning of 2020 through about May of 2021, that was my strategy. Just post as many rise of kingdoms videos as I can with the best information that I can. And, and hopefully we continue to grow the channel. Right. Uh, and then something happened in um, May, right around May, uh, well really in June, but in may i posted a video that maybe you guys have seen it was called the truth behind rise of kingdoms ads and that video to this day has 265,000 views and for the longest time it was uh, my most viewed rise of kingdoms video that video shot up in popularity so fast and i didn't even realize why 
um, until looking back on it after a while, I realized that that video was posted May 22nd, 2021. And first of all, the video was pretty well done. I mean, it, in my credit, like it was, it was a shorter video. It was to the point. It told a story. And then later in the video, I also revealed some interesting things that people didn't know or something that happened about the rise of kingdoms ads at the end of the day that video looking back lilith probably you know if they ever saw that video which it was i mean it was at the if you typed in rise of kingdoms it was the first thing that came up on, on youtube for like months okay so i would be shocked if they didn't see it but it didn't it, it probably didn't put me in the best favor with them at that time okay that i'm just gonna leave it at that all right it probably wasn't like the video i should have been making if i was trying to get sponsored but it was a perfect storm because i posted that video at the end of may and in june they released the viking civilization maybe it was end of june early july something like that but if you guys didn't know and for the past few years the in the summertime here at least in the united states is, is the summertime the june july august months typically rise of kingdoms and lots of other mobile games increase the amount of advertisements that they put on social media because a lot of kids are home from school they've got nothing to do so they're just home and so a lot of games game companies and other you know brands and things like that will increase their ad spend for the summer okay makes a lot of sense it's not exclusive to rise of kingdoms that's just how the industry works so i didn't realize that rise of kingdoms ads were going to become really popular in 2020 in the summer of 2021 so my video about rise of kingdoms ads was the first thing that came up on youtube when you typed in rise of kingdoms ads and that video got really really popular really fast and i was I, like it was people who don't even play rise of kingdoms were starting to see my channel and a lot of people started subscribing to the channel for that they thought it was funny or whatever some of you watching may have found my channel because of that very video so that was a milestone for my channel because it gave the entire channel a pretty big bump and from that point i decided okay i'm gonna do everything in my power to grow my channel as big as i can now at this point obviously you know i wasn't stuck inside anymore i was back to work so i was basically working a full-time job and then coming home and filming videos editing them and uploading them that way in the morning i could post it and then go to work so i was basically working seven days a week two two jobs you know basically i treated youtube like it was a job effectively and one of the things that i did of course i was trying to think outside the box of different types of content that i could make and eventually i posted a video about rise of kingdoms hacks and it was a troll video and that is currently my most popular rise of kingdoms video and it's almost the most popular video on my channel uh it has 437,000 views which blows my mind I don't even know how I pulled that off but I posted that in July of 2021 and I knew that it would get views even though it was kind of deceptive like obviously I basically checked Google to see if I could find any hacks for the game and the the moral of the story is that I, it was that I couldn't okay but it was very clickbaity and it is what it is people still view that video and ask me if I can ha hack their game for them which is hilarious but I did things like that to grow my channel as best as I could okay I tried to make the titles and thumbnails and topics of the videos as interesting and clickable and clickbait as possible while also still making the content like somewhat informative or funny or entertaining like i didn't want people to regret clicking the video i wanted i wanted them to click on the video but i also wanted them to stick around and be like oh okay this video actually is useful for me it's giving me good tips or information or at least he's funny or whatever it is right even if it was a little bit clickbait and one of the niches that i found myself in was leak content now this was my ace in the hole because i figured okay well i'm not a sponsored creator at that time but the other creators who were bigger than me were and they were not allowed to talk about leaks they had signed contracts stating that they were under non-disclosure agreements and that they would not leak content and all this other stuff right but i thought okay well if anything ever gets leaked i will be the first one to talk about it i think the only other person at that time that was really going hard with leak content was legend roni there was maybe a couple of others but i think like him and i were the the, the main two i'm not even sponsored it should be fine right like sure it, like it, it was not it's gonna hurt my chances at being sponsored obviously like surely you know rise of kingdoms doesn't want their stuff leaked right but i thought like okay well i'm clearly never gonna get sponsored anyway that that was my thought i was like they've already got big creators who've been sponsored for years i've been doing this for years and i'm still not sponsored so i thought i'm just gonna post lead content it's something that i can do that the sponsored creators can't and i did this for about a year from like 
the end of May in 2021 or June of 2021 through the Viking release and everything all the way up until May 15th of 2022. And that day I posted a video saying that we are getting Boudicca prime and Henry the fifth. I don't even think that I had any images to back it up, but the skills and commanders were leaked and I went over all of that. I also made a very convincing photoshopped Boudicca prime on the thumbnail. And also it was like a month or something before the actual leaked images came out. So it was like, it was way leaked. Like it was leaked leak. Like it was super, super early. Okay. So I posted that video. It's doing numbers. It was doing crazy because people were like, Oh my God, Boudicca prime. And then one morning I woke up to a copyright strike from Lilith's legal team. And this was terrifying to me because it wasn't a copyright claim. A copyright claim on YouTube means that you've posted content that somebody else claims they own the copyright for. And that means that all of the money you make from that video will either be split between you and the copyright owner, or it will all go to the copyright owner. That's typically how it works. Typically they take everything, which is obnoxious, but it is what it is. But the difference between a copyright claim and a copyright strike is that a copyright claim leaves your video up your channel remains in good standing. You're not violating any laws because the owner of the copyright is allowing the video to stay up with their permission. Okay. The only thing that happens is you lose the revenue, but this video revealing Boudicca prime got a copyright strike and you can only get three of those on your channel before the channel is deleted. Now, after a certain number of months, the copyright strikes get removed and then you're in the clear again, but needless to say, I was scared. Okay. Because I thought, okay, clearly I must have crossed a line here. Clearly rise of kingdoms knows my channel exists. They see the content that I'm posting. They know I'm posting leaked content and they've had enough of it. Their legal team filed a copyright strike against that video and you don't have any choice. The video gets removed from YouTube right away. You get a strike and then you have two choices. You could either dispute the strike and claim that you own the rights to the content in that video, which I didn't do because I did not own the rights to the content of, of that video. If you guys didn't know, uh, posting video game footage on YouTube technically violates copyright. You do not have the rights to post video game footage unless it's in like the terms and conditions of the game or whatever. They may lend you a license temporarily. It is what it is. Well, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. Okay. But I knew that I obviously did not have the rights to post uh rise of kingdoms leaked content. So I wasn't able to dispute it because it's not mine. So then I thought, okay, well, I might be in trouble here because at that point, like basically I thought, okay, well, their legal team could just basically take my channel down. Like they could basically just decide that they don't want me posting content about rise of kingdoms anymore because i keep being a bad boy basically okay so i tried to reach out i think to leo on discord i think he was the first person i reached out to it might have been somebody else and eventually i reached out to somebody at lilith and eventually lilith like via email like the official lilith um, handle and then eventually they directed me to the actual legal department for lilith and this was like a few weeks had gone by and i was trying to reach out to them to figure out like, okay, you know, what can I do to make things right? Basically. And I eventually got a hold of the legal department at Lilith and they were like, okay, eventually Boudicca prime came into the game. Okay. So at that point, like the strike was still there, Boudicca prime came out. So now talking about Boudicca prime was no longer uh, a leak. It was actually in the game. So then I reach out to the legal team and they're like, okay, we will remove the strike from your channel early. And in exchange, you have to promise that you will not do leaked content again. And I was like, yes, sir. That is a good deal. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They had, they didn't have to do that. They did not have to be that nice. I was obviously in the wrong. I was in the wrong and I just wanted to make it right. And they basically were kind enough to say, okay, we'll give you a pass this time. But like, that was your warning. Basically they were like, that's it that you, you cross the line. If you do it again, you're done. And I was like, I hear you loud and clear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lilith overlords. And at that point I was like, okay, my channel is safe. The strike got removed. We're chilling, but I've definitely burned a bridge. 
I was like, I, I, there's no way I'm getting sponsored now, right? Like when their legal team gets involved, like they don't, they're not happy about what you're doing. Okay. And I don't blame them. I really don't. I mean, I did literally like leaks can hurt the, the hype for a commander. It can hurt the anticipation of the commander or how much people want to spin the wheel for a commander. Right. So I, I get it. I get it. Okay. So at that point I was like, okay, well, I'm never going to get sponsored, but my channel's doing good. My channel's doing fine. I don't need to get sponsored. I've been doing this for years. People watch my videos regardless of me being sponsored. So I'm just happy that my channel didn't get taken down. And at that point, um, eventually we broke 50,000 subscribers, uh, without being, without being sponsored, which was, which was amazing. And then, um, I basically continued to make the best rise of kingdoms content that I can until around uh, March of this year of 2023 when another big event happened call of dragons was released and i thought well okay i'm not sponsored obviously uh they did not approach me to be sponsored but i thought well rise of kingdoms is very popular and call of dragons is basically uh an updated engine version of the same sort of game and i like the the high fantasy you know orcs and dragons and all that stuff so I thought I'm going to go all in on the launch of call of dragons. When it comes out, I'm going to make as many videos as I can. I'm going to make the best content that I can for call of dragons. And even though I'm not sponsored, I'm just going to put the pedal to the metal and it worked. I had a bunch of videos lined up for the launch of call of dragons. And I made a bunch of videos that did really, really well for call of dragons. Like on launch, I was one of the first people to make really, in my opinion, really high quality videos for call of dragons and about a month or maybe two months after the game came out um i was starting to feel like the hype for the game was dying down and i had to make a choice i thought okay do i want to keep covering call of dragons alongside rise of kingdoms or do i want to just drop off and just focus back on rise of kingdoms because the views like i, I could see that you know even if i was having fun with the game like there weren't that many people watching my channel and it seemed to be the case that um you know the the call of dragons videos doing worse than my rise of kingdoms videos would actually make my rise of kingdoms viewership go down because people were coming to my channel less frequently who were rise of kingdoms players because they thought that i was mainly posting call of dragons content so i was in a little bit of a dilemma and then farlight and lilith did the unthinkable they opened up the creator zone this is the content creator program for call of dragons and i was like oh my god wait a minute if i apply for this based on the amount of views that i had already proven that i could get for call of dragons on launch combined with the fact that we were already at like 50,000 subscribers maybe we we're at like 40 something like that i was like there's got i gotta be a shoe in right like if i apply right away like they gotta give it to me right there's, there's just based on numbers alone there weren't that many people getting more views on call of dragons besides like chiskel right i think he was like the only one at that time getting more views at least for English speakers. I don't know about the whole world. Okay. Uh, and I don't know the exact numbers. Maybe I was third or fourth. I, I really don't know. It doesn't really matter. So I applied and they let me into the program. I became a, a bronze of the bronze tier. I don't know exactly what the bronze tier is called. Maybe I can find out apprentice. I became an apprentice creator and I did that for a little bit. And then they bumped me up to associate and I did that for a little bit. And the associate tier, if you guys didn't know, is where you actually can get paid some amount of money from the content creator program from being sponsored. Right? So I did that for another month and then they opened up to my surprise, the rise of kingdoms content creator program. And I was like, there's no way like this is my shot. Like I've already had years of rise of kingdoms content on my channel and I've already been approved for the associate tier for call of dragons. So I knew that it was possible for me to have some form of relationship with Farlight, which is, is not exactly Lilith games, but it's close. So my worries about the legal thing, uh, were kind of fading at that point. So I applied. I was like, Hey, I, I, I feel like it's a no brainer. I should apply for the content creator program for rise of kingdoms. And of course they accepted me at the apprentice tier. I was bronze tier. And I was like, that's fine. That's cool. We're chilling. I will prove that I can keep making good rise of kingdoms content. Okay. And then after a couple of months, I think it was like uh one or three months, something like that. I think it's typically three months at a particular tier. They uh, approved me for the associate tier. And that is kind of where we land ourselves today. I, they sent me the contract. I asked for one little thing to be revised and we signed it. Then the five-year anniversary live stream happened a goose leaked it and then i and then it basically everything got finalized at the very end after like a week or so after that live stream and now we are officially 
an associate content creator for rise of kingdoms so uh, technically i am sponsored by rise of kingdoms now which is amazing so now we've got a couple of things first of all how is my content going to change moving forward uh now that i'm sponsored and the answer is it's literally not i mean i already stopped doing lead content a long time ago uh okay so like obviously that that would have been a no-go regardless uh but i had already stopped doing that because i learned my lesson so besides that there's really nothing else like my content it's actually been really great being uh you know an associate for for rise of kingdoms because everyone's been so nice to me like obviously i've made fun of a goose a little bit in this video but she's been great asia's been great leo's been great everyone that i've talked to has been so nice it's been it's been i feel like i was just welcomed in like they were like hey what up omniarch i'm like whoa that you guys actually like me this is great this is cool and so like i feel like my my obligation are to just make more rise of kingdoms videos which is great because that's what i like doing and i've been doing it for a long time now and 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 i'm like really grateful to have this opportunity and it's it's amazing and and i wanted to make this video to share with you guys my journey how i got here so you don't have to worry about the content changing if anything there's going to be more content obviously if you guys had noticed over the past few weeks i've been posting like every other day and so you know i've had more live streams and stuff like that so there's more content um and then the other thing is how can you become a sponsor creator for rise of kingdoms or for call of dragons or for any other Lilith game that it's that it's available for or Farlight game for for that matter uh, and I'm gonna put a link down below to the creator zone that is the platform that they have built to onboard people to being sponsored creators now if you are a small YouTube channel or even if you have a TikTok channel or you make YouTube shorts or things like that don't be discouraged you can apply and at the very worst they'll bring you in as an apprentice creator and they will see what you got they'll see what kind of content you can make the quality of content that you can make and if you put the content first and just try to make the best content that you can or maybe make content that other people aren't making right look for gaps like what am i not talking about on the channel what is just not covering on his channel right those are things that you should be looking for if you are someone who wants to be a partnered or or an associate creator for call of dragons rise of kings whatever because those gaps in the in the viewership market you know people might be looking for a golden kingdom guide and maybe i haven't posted one in a while and Chiskel hasn't posted one in a while and people are looking for the latest up-to-date information on golden kingdom well you can be that person just make the best possible golden kingdom guide that you can for rise of kingdoms and you got to make the title and thumbnail as as clickable as possible and slowly but surely if you're making good content it might take you as long as it took me it took me over three years of making rise of kingdoms content to become an associate creator but if you have a, a better track record than me if you are a good boy okay uh if your editing is better than mine and your thumbnails are better than mine then you could do it faster like they they will notice if your content is good enough so if you like making videos and you like rise of kingdoms or call of dragons or any other one of their games uh, then apply to be a, a creator and this video is not nobody told me to make this video over at rise of kingdoms right there, there wasn't this was my idea i wanted to tell my story and hopefully inspire some of you to pursue your dream of being a sponsored creator for one of these games and the last thing that i will leave you with is that uh don't do leak content okay i know it's like low-hanging fruit it seems easy it's like oh that's you know of course people are gonna click take it from me um uh, i i i know that they will see it they will see it you will get in trouble eventually okay and it is not worth risking your youtube channel it's not worth getting into legal trouble so throughout my entire journey if there's two things that you should learn it's one you can do it okay i believe in you i know you can it might take you a few years but just put in the work and you can do it and two don't break the law don't leak stuff the, those two things like that's the best advice that i can give you and with that being said if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this style of video where i just kind of ramble and tell you guys my story a story about something let me know in the comment section below i typically do not do videos like this because most people just do not care but i figured i would give it a try try something new on the channel here okay so if you want to see more story time videos with omniarch comment down below and leave a like that's how i'm gonna know if you guys liked it drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton more people in the youtube algorithm will be shown this video and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kings video because we're almost at 60 000 subscribers subscribers now which is actually crazy so thank you guys so so much i really appreciate it and for those of you who've stuck around since the beginning 
my god i can't like i i can't believe it honestly i can't believe it what are y'all still doing here i'm just a, i'm just a nerd playing phone games okay anyway with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace